We've tackled many topics and services with the folks at Suncoast Community Health Centers. And today we're going to welcome Yvonne and Diana to our show to discuss the women's health services that they provide. Ladies, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Thank How you. Are Thank you. you. Good. Thank you. Good, good. Doing good this morning. Uh, you know, we're excited too to focus on women today and focus on all the needs that they had. They may be a little different than men's and, and it's kind of overwhelming. And I love that you are able to tackle all of women's health care services. Specifically, we're talking OB and GYN today. Correct. We right. offer all of those services and also family planning. And let's break it down, because I know sometimes when you hear those services, people might not know how detailed that can be and how it's really a feather in your cap that you're able mm -hmm. to offer these services. So first, let's go, let's go the OB route, because this, the average low-risk pregnancy, the amount of visits, I didn't realize how many visits there were until I was pregnant. Roxanne is filling <laughs> in for us right now. I mean, she can tell you there's a lot of visits that are required, and so this is really great that you're able to offer it. What Correct. can people expect if they are expecting? Well, your usual uh, low-risk pregnancy consists of about nine prenatal visits and one and two sono visits where they do the ultrasounds of the babies. Why are those so important? Well, it, it, it'll give you an assessment and an idea of how the baby's thriving mm -hmm. um, and how well the pregnancy is coming along for the mom. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, you want to focus on both of those health there. So to be able right. to do that right, right in the office is nice. Yes. Let's talk about those who are not expecting. Still super important as a woman to get those regular checkups and visit that uh, visit that gynecologist. Why is that so important and what services are oh, you able sure. to provide? We, we want to get assessments um, in a timely manner, um, uh, in, assess for any potential problems that there may be, address them if, if they need to be. It's just part of staying healthy for a woman. Yeah. I and usually what you see is that women should have an annual physical um, where they have, um, and as the woman ages, have a uh, clinical breast exam as well as those pap screening, mm -hmm. cervical screening exams on a yearly basis, or as the CDC recommends. Well, I think the key word too is should, because I think sometimes women are like, oh, I went last year, maybe I can skip it. I'm glad you're talking about the importance, and you make it easy at your centers, right? Correct. We have all of these services provided. We have, uh, for some of the female ladies mm -hmm. who, um, just one a female provider. We have a large uh, number of female providers so that woman feels more comfortable coming mm -hmm. in for the screening services. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. That's a really good little good note. Now, mm -hmm. you actually brought during the beginning of the interview family planning. Let's discuss what that means and, and most importantly, why it's so important to your patients. Well, I, the, the, uh, women at bearing age may want to conceive, may want to hold off on conceiving, and we can help them create a plan short-term or long-term plan and offer them birth control that suits their lifestyle and their family planning needs. How important, and again, I'm just gonna kind of branch off with what you said, education. How much of women's health deals with education? And that's something that I can just tell you, you have a lot of pride in being able to educate your patients, right? Well, there's education that comes in all of those cycles in life. You yeah. know, you, you have, edu you're gonna educate the woman during her childbearing years. You're gonna educate them for the changes that happen as the woman ages um, with their body uh, changes as the mental menopause and so forth. So. With the pregnancy, for instance, you want to educate about nutrition, exercise. Um, when the child is born, the newborn, um, what we consider cradle talk, you know, the child development as well. And you want to be able to um, share with the parent changes that the child, what we call developmental milestones mm -hmm. and um, all those changes. And so that everybody is on the lookout to ensure that the baby's developing correctly. Um, throughout his lifespan. And to be able to do it, it's such a welcoming and warm place like you ladies have talked about. It is. It's really great to spread the information. Thank you to the both of you. And if you want more information on anything we just talked about today, of course, you can give them a call, the Suncoast Community Health Centers. They've got eight locations right now, so I'm assuming there's there's one close to everybody around the Bay Area. There's the phone number and, of course, website as well. And again, ladies, thanks for your time. Thank you.